Ready for the Friday opener. Here they come. They're racing to a good start from out of a crowd. P.J. Lou shows speed. Inside is J.D. Hustled up on the far outside is Groovy Man. Then to the inside is Let Me Call You Back with Please Let Me Know as they bank into the first turn. Coming away next in sixth around the turn was Top Genius. Two lengths more to Bounty Hunter. And American Sestar is the trailer. Heading to the quarter pole and ranging up to take the lead. Brennan and P.J. Lou, the favorite. Now moves clear by two and a half lengths over J.D. It's a length and a half back to the groovy man third. Pacing in fourth is Let Me Call You Back over the sloppy going six off the lead for an opening quarter in 27 and two. Please let me know part of the entry is back there. Eight lengths adrift. Then we go back to Chop Genius Bounty Hunter and American Zestar is the trailer. It's about 11 lengths from leader to last and P.J. Lou here in the Tar Heel. W.N. Reynolds Elding's pace here leads it by two and a half from J.D. who sits the loose pocket trip and Groovy Man with Stratton has a good hold of that one. Then a break up two to let me call you back forth. Nothing yet from please let me know. They go a half mile in 55 and four, 28 and two. In that second quarter, down to the inside, in sixth is top genius Bounty Hunter, and losing contact with the field is a lackluster American Zestar. They approach three quarters, and P.J. Lou looks to give them the slip here. P.J. Lou, the lead is padded, now to the three lengths on J.D. Outside under the whip is Groovy Man third. Then on the inside, it's Let Me Call You Back. In between horses then was Please Let Me Know. They've gone three quarters, one twenty-three and four. Final turn, and P.J. Lewis put up very robust numbers. Leads it by two over J.D. Three wide from the back of the pack. Please Let Me Know is finishing with interest, but time ticking away into the stretch. It's P.J. Lou by two. That is J.D. far outside. Please Let Me Know. P.J. Lou, too good. Won it by a length and a half. J.D. second. Then was please let me know and let me call you back. Unofficially number five, P.J. Lou was first. Three, J.D. second. The solid one, please let you know third. Three, let me call you back fourth. However, we do have an inquiry here. It concerns the winner, five, P.J. Lou for a possible Eurorail violation approaching the half mile pole, going inside pylons and possibly gaining an unfair advantage is the focus of the inquiry here on number five, PJ Lou approaching the half. Results unofficial. Now a judge's look being shown on the TVs throughout the track. Now the horse on the front end is the five PJ Lou. We're looking at the head-on shot here, as the judges are as well. And this is the focus of the inquiry to determine going inside pylons and uh, gaining uh, unfair advantage. So it does concern this five, P.J. Lou. The judges will take action here. Number five, P.J. Lou will be disqualified from first and placed last for a URL violation approaching the half, going inside the pylons and gaining an unfair advantage. Moved up to first is two, J.D. Moved up to second is one, please let me know, part of the entry. Moved up from fourth to third is three, let me call you back. And moved up from fifth, now fourth, six, Bounty Hunter. The new call is two, one, three, six. Again, the... Original winner, 5 P.J. Lou, was disqualified from first and placed last for a URL violation approaching the half. Phillies set for a start. They're off. American Ticket is left for the lead. On the inside, it's Nadine Ahel over center of the track. It's Wine and Dine Me. Followed then by Fine Happiness, Saki Bomb, and Got the Green Light will be the early trailer. Six pack of Phillies approaches the back stretch, and out on top is American Ticket. American Ticket leads them along the back stretch by two and a half lengths over Nadina Hanover. It's a similar margin back in third to Fine Happiness. Next and fourth, that is Wine and Dine Me. She's about six lengths or so from the top. The two at the back are Saki Bomb and Got the Green Light as they navigate the 
sloppy going here. The opening quarter was 28 and 1. Moving on the far turn the first time, Jim Marone Jr. at American Ticket. American Ticket out there with the red shadow roll. Leads it over Nadina Handlover. Two lengths more to find happiness third. Wine and Dine Me and Kikili sit in fourth and five lengths from this pace setter as they approach the half mile. The two trailers remain Saki Bomb and got the green light. The even money favorite didn't get the green light yet, but she's got a lot to do. They went a half mile in 57 and 1, 29 seconds, even in the second quarter for the pace setting American ticket as she struts her step looking for two in a row. Leads it by a length and a half into the back stretch on Nadina Hanover. Three lengths back, uh, losing a bit of ground there is Find Happiness third. Over the outside in fourth is Wine and Dine Me, then Saki Bomb, and the favorites to the inside of that has got the green light. She's at a very tough spot here. They've gone three quarters up in 125 and 3, 28 and 2 in that quarter. As they move on the final turn, now Bartlett takes the favorite off the inside, but she's still, now she goes back to the inside, in fact, and she's not doing nearly enough. In the meantime, American Ticket now kicks away by two on Nadina Hanover. It'll be a good battle for the balance here, but up top, it's American Ticket. She's led every step of the way, chasing her home as Nadina Hanover. Find Happiness has moved to third. American Ticket, yes, all the way. Nadina Hanover second, third. Find Happiness and settling for fourth has got the green light.